and say hi to Rick. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Uh, good morning, Charles. I'm doing fine. How are you? Doing great. Great. Joined by uh, Charles Henderson, uh, head of X Force Red at IBM, and uh, we're talking this morning, Charles, uh, security risks uh, working in the home, which has uh, uh, been a huge topic. Uh, written about it numerous times. Uh, people now, uh, I won't call it stuck working in the home, but a new opportunity uh, working in a home in the home with home offices and. Uh, um, self quarantining or whatever whatever you want to call it and then that brings uh as uh, as IBM released a, a new study that brings kind of new new problems but uh, I like to call them new opportunities uh, to the forefront absolutely so we we talked to more than 2000 employees who are new to work from home and asked them how their jobs had changed uh now that they've shifted to work from home um, more than 83% felt that their employers and organizations were doing um, a great job of securing them and their data, um, but that may be overconfident. Um, the, you think about a call center employee. Uh, they used to go into an office, uh, they had physical security controls, <coughs> network security controls. Um, they, they worked on company issued terminals, and when they left that office, the customer information, all the confidential data, it stayed in that call center. Now they're taking those calls from their kitchen, possibly on their own laptop or desktop computer, maybe a, a tablet. Um, and um, all those uh, network security controls, physical security controls, they don't amount to much anymore. Um, and you know, if you think about that in the context of over half of work from home employees are working on their own personal computers and have been given no additional security tools, uh, policies, anything like that to secure them. Um, it's a pretty rocky situation. Yeah. What, what do you recommend, Charles, or what, uh, um, with the findings that you, that you uh, received, should companies have uh, ongoing training for the employees that are working at home? Should companies, if they can, issue work dedicated uh, laptops or desktop computers? What, uh, what are some of the solutions or some of the ideas you have? So actually, both of those are really good, uh, good starts, but it, it goes farther than that. Uh, knowing your risks, hire a hacker to think like an attacker, um, understanding if you actually can detect and protect against attack, um, and finally, understanding what collaboration needs your employees have as they work from home. You know, in an office, it's pretty easy. Uh, working from home, how do you identify those? And what do you need to give your employees so that they can do their jobs? Because if you don't give them that stuff, um, they'll invent something and you'll be sad. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking uh, with Charles Henderson from IBM X-Force Red. And uh, passwords, Charles, are always uh, maybe the key to the, the, the puzzle a lot of times. Uh, you're saying 66% of the, the workers have not been provided with new password management guidelines or, or specific passwords, and 35% uh, are reusing old passwords uh, as we continue today. Why, uh, why should uh, the, uh, the workers at home uh, really pay close attention to passwords? Uh, well, because you're opening up a lot more remote access than you used to have. Um, a lot of organizations simply weren't putting their most confidential information in an accessible method um, because they didn't have to. Now they have to because remote access is the way business is done. And with that change, attackers are trying old passwords. And, and boy, I tell you what, a passwords, they're like underwear. You, you need to change them often and, and not share with others. I'm not sharing my underwear with anyone, Charles, and, and my passwords. So uh, great, great advice. What about uh, uh, these workers, uh, the home, home workers, they're using their own uh, home Wi-Fi or a, uh, um, maybe some sort of a hotspot device, or they're even using public Wi-Fi. What should they know, or how can we educate them on keeping the, the Wi-Fi or, or whatever Internet they're using uh, safe? So, you know, really... This is a place for employers to step up, make sure that they're using a single tunnel, not a split tunnel, VPN to access the corporate uh, um, uh, network. Uh, 
that that alleviates a lot of the problems with you know public Wi-Fi, insecure Wi-Fi, but really also educating workers on proper ways to connect to the internet goes a long way to limiting the risk associated with remote work. And, and there's a big risk, isn't there? You know, really, there's there the the risk of remote work is that we are taking all that confidential data that we used to store in sort of four walls and a lot of network protection, and we're putting it in people's homes. And normally, if an organization makes that shift, they take a year to plan and execute a strategy to allow their workers to work from home. The mm -hmm. pandemic necessitated a very quick shift, and that, that changed the game. It changed the game and, and sped up a lot of processes that have been in the works for for a while, we're wrapping up here with Charles Henderson. He's the global managing partner, head of IBM X Force Red, and he he runs the uh, the global security testing practice there uh, with X Force Red. And uh, Charles, uh, what do individuals and employees have to share information, and they have to keep the lines of communications open, even though they may not be seeing each other on a daily or weekly basis? Is that really? I mean, with any relationship, communications key. Is that really uh, where everything starts? Yeah, I, I mean, look, it, you know, a, a team, a team that can communicate securely together can can continue working with a lot less impact to their daily jobs. Yeah, and that's really uh, that's really the key for productivity and staying safe. Uh, Charles, where can uh, my listeners go for more information, and uh, what are you guys uh, looking at next? So, IBM.com/security and ibm.com slash xforce red are great places to start um, we have a, a lot of interesting research coming up over the summer uh and uh a couple of new uh interesting attack techniques we'll be posting those in both of those places over the coming months looking forward to that looking forward to chatting again and uh your team's doing a great job so uh, thanks for coming on keep up the good work as we're working from home thanks charles Thanks for having me.